children good morning to all and welcome back to gurudeva online classes is my dear students what we have discussed in our previous class once you remember yes in our previous class we started an addition means that is the second new chapter right in that you learn the properties of addition along with that you learn how to add a two digit number with regrouping as well as without regrouping okay yes as usual today also i will bring another two interesting concept to you concept to you so before starting to that concept once again we have to revise our previous class activities so all of you look at here children so this is the first problem the given numbers are 56 and 31 yes in the number 56 how many ones are there here 6 ones and 5 tens right so write here the 5 tens plus 6 ones 6 ones right so in the number 31 how many tens and ones are here? Yes. Three tens and one ones. Right? So write here. Three tens plus one one. Okay? So now, first you have to add the digit in ones column. What are the digits are there? Six and one. Right? So one plus six. What is a 1 plus 6? 1 plus 6, it is 7. Right here, 7. So now, come to the tenths column. 5 plus 3 or 3 plus 5. How much? It is 8. So right here, 8. What is our sum? That is 87. Yes, friends, in the number 87, how many tens are there? 8 tens, 7 ones. Right? So, right here, 8 tens plus 7 ones. Right? So, this is the how to solve a two two digit number under the headline of without regrouping. So, now come to the second one. Yes. In the second problem, the given numbers are 66 plus 6. Right? So, first we have to add the digits in one column. What are the digits are there? 6. And here is one more 6. 2 6 are there. Right? Yes. What is 6 plus 6? 6 plus 6 is? 12. Yes, you are right. But this 12, it is an two digit number. What can we do? Is it right to write the 12 here? No, right? So, what can we do? You should regroup it. Regrouping means carry a number from one place to the another place. That is called regrouping. Yes, first you should regroup the number 12 once. Right? So students, this 12 ones, I am writing as a 10 ones plus 2 ones. Look here, 10 ones plus 2 ones, 10 plus 2, it is again 12. Right? Yes, in the first topic already you learned, a 1 10 is equals to how many ones? 10 ones, right? So instead of this 10 ones, I am writing as a 1 10. The next, so these two ones I am writing as it is. Okay? Yes, now, these two ones I am writing in the ones column. Or under the ones column. The next, this one ten carry one to the tens column. So, now you have to add the digits in tens column. Zero plus six. What is 0 plus 6? Or 6 plus 0? Both also right. So 6 plus 0 or 0 plus 6 it is 6 itself. It is 
6, 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, which is our sum? 72 is our sum. It is the addition of two digit number with regrouping. Okay. So, now my dear students, in this class, I am going to share a two concept with you. The first one, addition of three two digit number and also a addition of three digit number with a regrouping. Children, so this is the first concept. It is addition of three two digit numbers with regrouping. Here I am taking a three, one, two, three, two digit numbers. Right? Come to the first step. You have to add the digits in one scholar. What are the digits are there? 6, 3 and 3. Right? Yes. What is 3 plus 3? 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Next. 6 plus 6. So students look here. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 12. Right? So it is 12 ones. Okay, so 12 ones, 12, it is not a single digit number, it is a two digit number, you should regroup it. Okay, yes, so look here, this 12 ones, I am writing as a 10 ones plus 2 ones. Okay, 10 plus 2, it is again 12. Okay, so now this 10 ones. I am writing as a 1, 10. Already you know 1, 10 is nothing but 10 ones. Right? The next, I am writing this 2 ones as it is. Okay? So, these 2 ones, I am writing in the, I am writing under the columns of ones. The next, carry this 1 to the tens column. So, I am writing in this box. So now you have to add the digits in tens column. What are the digits are there? 2, 3, 2 and this carry 1. Add all these digits. 2 plus 3 it is 5 right? So 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 1, it is 8. Okay. So, which is our sum? 82 is our sum. Come to the second one. The given numbers are 15, 16, 19. Right? Yes. The number of digits in the ones column are 3. What are those? 5, 0, 9. Yes, what is a 9 plus 0? It is 9 itself. 9 plus 5. What is 9 plus 5? 9 plus 5. It is 14 ones. Right? Okay. 14 ones. This 14 ones. It is a 2 digit number. We should not write this in a ones column. Already you knew this. Right? So now... You should regroup it as 10 ones plus 4 ones. Right? So, this 10 ones I am writing as a 1, 10. Right? And I am writing these 4 ones as it is. Okay? Yes. Now, I am writing these 4 ones in the one scholar. The next, carry this one to the ten scholar. Now we successfully finish the one scholar. Now I'm, I will move to the ten scholar. Yes, one plus six. What is one plus six? One plus six is seven. The next, seven plus one. Seven plus one, it is eight. Eight plus one. 8 plus 1 is 9. So, write here 9. So, which is our sum? 
94 is our sum. 50 plus 60 plus 90 is equals to 94. Come to the last problem. The given numbers are 34 plus 33 plus 90. Right? Yes. First, you have to add the digits in one column. 4 plus 3 plus 9. Okay? Yes. What is 9 plus 3? 9 plus 3 is 12. Right? Next. 12 plus 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. Yes, you are right. It is 16 ones. Right? 16 it is a two digit number. So you should regroup it. Yes, this 16 ones I am regrouping as 10 ones and 6 ones. Only you knew that 10 ones is nothing but 1 ten. Right? So, I am writing 1 ten here. I am writing this 6 ones as it is. Okay? So, now you write the 6 in the ones column and carry this 1 to the tens column. Okay? Now, come to the tens column. The given digits are 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. Don't forget to add this 1. If you forget, you will lose your marks. Okay? 1 plus 3, it is 4. 4 plus 3, it is 7. 7 plus 1, it is 8. So, write here 8. Children, 34 plus 33 plus 90 is equals to 86. Okay, children. Now we finish the first concept. Now I will move to the second concept. It is about the addition of three-digit number without regrouping. Children, come to our second concept. It is addition of three-digit numbers without regrouping. Okay. So here in the first problem, I am taking a two three-digit numbers. And in the second problem, I am taking a three three-digit numbers. Okay. So first, come to the first one. How to solve this problem? Which is our first step? The first step is write these two numbers under the columns of hundreds, tens, and ones. So look here. I am taking the first number that is five hundred thirty-three. Right. So I am writing. Yes, in the five hundred thirty-three, this three is in ones place. So I am writing three here. The second one three it is in tens place. So I am writing under the tens column. The next five it is in hundred place. So I am writing five here. Okay. Come to the second one. It is four hundred three. In four hundred three. Three is in which place? It is in ones place. So I am writing three here. The zero it is in tens place, and the four it is in one tens place. Right? So now you have to add these two numbers. So don't forget to put the symbol of addition plus in the left side. Okay? The second step is you have to add the digits in the ones column. Next, tens after hundreds column. Okay. Yes. What are the digits? Are there in ones column? Three and three. Right. Yes. What is three plus three? Three plus three is six. So write here six. The next. Come to the tens column. Three plus zero or zero plus three. Both also right. Is what is three plus zero? It is three itself. Write down here three. The next four plus five. What is four plus five? Four plus five is 
9. So write here 9. So students, which is our sum? 936 is our sum. 533 plus 403 is equal to 936. Okay. Come to the second one. Which is our first step. Write these three numbers under the columns of 100, tens and ones. The first number is 760, right? So look here, I am writing 760. The second one is 100. 100. Third one is 121. 121. So now you have to add these three numbers. The first you have to add the digits in one column. What are the digits are they? 1, 0, 0. Yes, 1 plus 0 it is 1. Okay, so 1 plus 0 it is 1. Again, 1 plus 0 it is also 1. So write here 1. The next, come to the tens column. 2 plus 0. What is 2 plus 0? 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 and the 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. So right here, 8. The next, come to the hundreds place. 1 plus 1. It is 2. 2 plus 7. It is 9. Students, 760 plus 100 plus 121 is equals to 981. So, write here 981. Children, these are very easy problems, right? You please work out this type of problems in your home. Okay? So, this is about our second concept. Now, I will go to the test book activity. All of you open your test book and open the page number 97. So, it is on page number 97. Here is an exercise number 2.5. I am reading the headline. Solve the sums. Children, in the exercise number 2.5, right? It is in the page number 97, right? So, look here. Here, the total number of questions are 6, right? So, you have to solve up to 4th. Okay. This 5th and 6th, these two problems belongs to our next concept. So, now in the next video, I will teach you how to solve these two problems. Okay. Up to 4th, you have to solve it. Okay. So, here are the 4 problems. The first one, I will show to you. Like that, you have to solve the remaining 3 in your home. Come to the first one. The given numbers are 460 plus 200 plus 138, right? So, first you have to add the digits in 1's column. Yes, 8 plus 0, it is 8. Again, 8 plus 0 is 8. So, right here, 8. The next, come to the 10's column. 3 plus 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 6, it is 9. So, right here, 9. Come to the last column, that is 100. 1 plus 2, it is 3. 3 plus 4, it is 7. Children, 460 plus 200 plus 138 is equals to 400. 98. I showed the first one. In the same way, how to solve the second, third and fourth in your home. Along with that, now I will give some more homework to you. You please solve these problems also in your home. These problems for your practice. Okay? All of you pin down these six problems in your book. My dear students, in this class, you learn two concepts, right? You please concentrate on these concepts. These are very, very important. 
you please learn it okay in the next video i will meet with a new concept okay students bye